Alrighty, good morning guys. We're getting back into some more XCOM UFO defense from the ashes. So last time we uh, we got a few hours of this in and we're a little ways into it. It's been very interesting so far. Um, if you haven't played it, it's kind of a new engine that Finnick has made. Um, and you know what? Let me grab the link for it real quick. There we go. So there's the link for it. That should be up to date. Uh, yeah, it looks like it is. Uh, Finnick is pretty much working on this on his own. Uh, he does have a little bit of help, uh, but I, from what I understand, he's basically been working on this on his own. But it is... Um, I, I believe it's complete. He's just adding more stuff to it now. So, we'll see how it goes. <laughs> Ghost Null, thank you for the follow. I appreciate it. Uh, so, let me get back into the game. Oh, we don't need to test anything. Uh, so, yeah. Oh, you know what? <clears throat> Let me, uh, load up my sticky notes real quick so I can have names readily available. Okay. So let's go. First aid. Um, well, I mean, I think it should be. That's just the link that comes up. Yeah, when I do a search... On the regular webpage for From the Ashes, it shows up as old. Oh. You ended up with a thousand plus laboratory space? We'll have to let Finnick know. Watching my old Afterlight video? Sweet! Glad to hear it. We have uh, Afterlight on Saturdays, uh, slightly modded. And I've been trying to get those up onto YouTube as well. I'm a little bit behind on YouTube. Uh, I'm really struggling to find the time to fully get videos rendered and uploaded. Uh, but I work on really big batches of videos. So when they do get done, it's usually like 15 plus videos. Oh, is that what the old is referring to? Yeah, because I'm almost positive this link is the most up-to-date version of uh, From the Ashes. Unfortunately, I don't have Discord anymore, so I am not part of Phoenix Discord. So I can't find any very current information or updates. Uh, but here we have first aid. This bag contains a minimum set of medical items that allow for temporary stopping of bleeding, treatment of the circum circumference of wounds, and the application of primary bandage. In order to use it, you must face towards the operative requiring treatment. If the operative is stunned, you must stand over the body. Click on the trauma pack icon and select Use from the menu. Red body parts show fatal wounds. Click on a body part that is wounded. Click on the heal button. One fatal wound will be cured and some health restored. This is concealable. Well, I'm glad to hear that. Awesome. 
I hope those old, old videos are still quality. Because <laughs> I think I did the UFO series like eight or nine years ago, and that was pretty early in my YouTube stuff. Um, you know, let's let's keep going with some of these pieces of equipment. Stims. Stims help to restore agents' energy and may force an incapacitated person to regain consciousness. One use restores 30 energy points and removes 7 stun points. Okay. So, slightly useful for stun. Oh, for sure. I think we're going to try Phoenix Point at some point. It's definitely on my list. Well, thanks, Ghost. I appreciate it. That's why I do it. That's why I do it. Sawed off. Does 18 times 7 damage. So, shoot 7 pellets, and each one can do approximately 18 damage. Uh, it's very accurate. Uh, the catch is... Let's see. Uh, I think the clip size is only two. Hmm, did I miss that somewhere? Usually it's right here on the... Oh, here it is. Yeah, clip size 2. So if you do a snapshot with this weapon, you only have a snapshot the next time you want to use it. You can't do an auto shot after that. Uh, but yeah, it's fairly accurate. The range is not the best. Uh, the accuracy is 50 plus half of your firing accuracy. Uh, which isn't bad, considering a lot of starting agents already have like 50, 60 accuracy to start with, sometimes 40 something. So this ups their accuracy quite a bit. And really, it kind of only gets better the higher your accuracy gets, so. You do not get a power bonus, though. So... Uh, the armor effectiveness bonus isn't too bad. And it kind of looks like the damage is default, so... What is it? 0 to 200%? So you could potentially do up to 36, I believe. I have seen the Warhammer mod. I haven't played it, though. But is it huge? I, I knew it was... Uh, I knew it was pretty well into development the last few years. Heavy Revolver. 31 kinetic damage. Snapshot and aim shot. Still fairly accurate. The large caliber five shot revolver equipped with a reinforced frame and cylinder for high powered cartridges. The substantial weight of the cartridge gives the gun an impressive stopping power, but the relatively low muzzle velocity decreases the armor piercing qualities of the bullet. At the same time, High recoil does not allow for a high rate of fire. Okay. Yeah, so a little bit of extra armor effectiveness. Uh, but the power 
does pretty well make up for that. CQC accuracy, 133%. That's cool, I think. I think that means if someone runs up to you in melee and you shoot this as a reaction, you're even more accurate. Gonna be the new XCOM files? It could be. With Phoenix changes, uh, <laughs> there's a lot that can be done. It's awesome. Hi, welcome back. <clears throat> Baseball bat. Riot pistol, 26 kinetic damage. You have a snap and aim shot. Uh, a little less accurate, but you can fire more often. Firepower and accuracy of this light semi-automatic pistol is unlikely to impress anyone's imagination. But due to its convenience, it could be recommended for use by any novice. Sure. Um, I guess we'll start with facility blueprints. Uh, let's see. Uh, any specific type of soldier? Thanks, Pi. Okay. Uh, we should have a soldier. What's going on, man? Um, Astro Boy mentioned he played the other day and somehow got over a thousand laboratory space. Uh, he didn't mention how he did it, though. But he wanted to bring that up. Oh, the link isn't active. Dang. Alright, hold on. I guess I have to update that every 30 days. Uh, let's see. Vac in on vacation in Turkey? Nice. He cheated. <laughs> oh, okay. Gotcha. All right, let me update my commands real quick. There we go. There's the updated link. <clears throat> Alright, I'm going to have to set a reminder for myself. Alright, chemicals are done being made. I made those to... Sell, but it looks like we can make some improvised grenades, which I think is probably going to be a good idea. So let's start with 20. 
Let's get that dab in there. Ceramically, <laughs> what's going on? Got a little bit of phlegm in my throat. <laughs> Been waiting all week for this stream, huh? <laughs> no worries, Finnick, no worries. Oh, Finnick. Um, is this... Is this the correct place to get your game? Okay, cool. Baseball bat. 25 stun damage. 80% accuracy. And 13% time unit costs, so it's fairly inexpensive. Sindrin! I'm starting to think the Muppet show is heavily scripted. Always seems like someone is pulling the strings. <laughs> Here we go, guys. Here we go. So, just for reference, if you guys didn't know, we spent the last, like, 45 minutes of yesterday's stream punning. Like, so many people were punning, and it was just fantastic. Cool. Alright, thanks, Finnick. Yeah, head to that link, guys, to get this game. It's it's very impressive so far. Yes, I have played X Division. Um, I'm not the biggest fan of it because it's, well, it's just not for me, unfortunately. I, I really hoped it could be. But it just it it wasn't for me. But it's very impressive. It is. How do celebrities stay cool? Oh boy. They they hang out with iced tea. Zero Fox, what's going on? They have many fans. Oh my gosh. So simple and so perfect. Yeah, I'm waiting for Xenonauts 2. I I I, I could be helping beta test it, but like everything else in my life, I just don't have the time to do it. 2043? Maybe. Uh so the baseball bat is sports equipment often used in street fights and criminal showdowns. It is quite risky to use for stunning the target because a strong blow at the bat can inflict fatal wounds. It is silent, but it is not concealable. Accuracy modifier, it's 68 plus uh, 0.3 times melee accuracy. So even, what, let's say, melee accuracy of 50. Uh, that would be, what, 15? Yeah. Yeah. So that would be 83 accuracy, and then 80% of 83. Uh, so, you would be hurting a little bit with accuracy, but power bonus, bonus of 0.3 times strength. Um, armor effectiveness, 160%, uh, and 60% HP damage modifier. So, it mainly does stun damage, but you will do some HP damage. Did the stats for your gun come up? I don't think so. Give me a sec to look. Oh, yeah, it did. Okay. So, 48 kinetic damage. Pretty good aim shot. Accuracy 0.01 times uh, firing accuracy squared. This high-precision semi-automatic rifle has superior accuracy at long distances. 
The enlarged projectiles have high initial velocity and can penetrate medium armor easily. However, it is harder to use at short range and very inconvenient to perform snap shooting. It is recommended to shoot from a kneeling position. <laughs> Guardian Crow, how's it going? <laughs> Good deal, Universe Antimatter, thank you. Yeah, uh, kneel bonus 200%. We kind of got a peek at that last time. Minimum range, 15. So yeah, you definitely can't be too close. Ah, and you can never do zero damage as a calculation of straight up damage. And armor effectiveness, 70%. And it does armor pre-damage too. That's nice. Um, potentially, oh, you can never deal zero damage. Nice, Finnick. Oh, okay, thank you for letting us know. 20 to 80 per 180% is the default setting, as opposed to 0 to 200. So that's awesome. Awesome, thank you for the info. Uh, we have a lot of other new stuff here. I don't think we're going to mess with it, though, because uh, that's going to take a while. <laughs> we're, I think we're trying to avoid that. Expansive ammunition. We obtained an interesting model of ammunition that is compatible with our armament. However, there is no information about it in UFOpedia. We tested the items and prepared a summary. Or it's 25 to 175%? Okay. Either way, better than zero. Try flashlight? Okay. Expansive bullets are designed to significantly increase their diameter when hitting soft tissue in order to increase their lethality. This is achieved by increasing the softness of the metal from which the bullet is made, as well as the cavity at the apex. At the same time, this makes it significantly less effective against even lightly armored targets. Such ammunition is forbidden for use by the military, and is used mainly for hunting, so it was not part of the standard XCOM ammunition. I see. Wow, we picked up a lot of double-barreled shotguns. <laughs> We're going full-on war crimes now. <laughs> Zero Fox. <laughs> Alright, let's keep going. Improvised grenades are done. Yes. We'll work on more chemicals to eventually sell. Wow, we just went through a whole week or so. Improvised smoke grenade. Obviously, we need to restock our support grenades to be able to cover our soldiers in a critical situation from enemy fire. We have developed designs for a simple smoke grenade, which can be produced without special equipment. The smoke grenade, while having a modest construction, is still quite effective. 
The difference from the standard smoke grenade used by our soldiers is the simpler design of the detonator, which makes it impossible to deploy the explosion or to delay the explosion of the grenade. Almost immediately after activation, the grenade explodes, producing quite a lot of noise, spreading fine dust particles in the air. This is concealable. Awesome. Uh, and I just realized we could probably be doing covert ops. <laughs> Maybe. Oh, Mackenzie's still specializing, but he has three days left. Getting up to average. <laughs> we have not encountered any aliens yet. Nope, just uh, men in black and zombies. Astro Boy, you just gotta ask. Uh, just let me know what the name and style you want would be. <laughs> Aliens are on hold till next update. How's your sim? Uh, I mean, you're doing fairly well. You're getting ready to go on this covert up. Okay. And then any specific class or anything, or just any? Any class? Not a problem. Yeah, Chimera Squad, you can poison people. <laughs> so yeah, I'm pretty sure there were war, cla uh, war crimes there as well. Uh, these are concealable. Uh, but so are these. So we have a melee weapon. We have a gun. The sawed off? Wait, where's the... I thought I had a bunch of double barrels. Guess not. That must have been what was available to buy. <laughs> so those are uh, concealable. Let's take 10, so everyone can have two. Ooh, 
Ooh, I can't wait till we get improvised flashbangs. Alright, let's see what happens. Nice. What does this use? Double barrel shotgun? Loyalty is up to 919. Very nice. Alright, let's go ahead and save. Okay. Oh, Finnick, I'm sorry, I missed your statement. Um, yeah, so the VOD will stay up for two weeks on Twitch, and it's, it'll eventually be up on YouTube. I can't guarantee how soon, but I will have it up on YouTube. But the VOD will be there for two weeks. So I apologize for missing that. Resistance Haven attacked in Berlin. We are receiving an encrypted distress signal from the Resistance Haven. It seems they're in a desperate situation and need urgent evacuation. We should dispatch an assault squad, and we would probably need enough free spots in our craft for the Resistance agents to be rescued, if needed. Okay, yeah, our equipment should be fine. Missing a rifle. Yeah, I guess we're 
Between you, you wanted to be a sniper. So let's take that. That should be fine. Ask the nurses if you're allowed to go. Uh, Finnick, what difficulty do you recommend for someone kind of playing through for the first time? That's right, Pi. We were down to two arrows. How did that happen? <laughs> well, we're playing on veteran difficulty. And it seems to be manageable so far. That's a, a good way to word it too, Universe Antimatter. <laughs> Interestingly enough, I equipped all these melee weapons and didn't give any to anyone. Like that's uh, they're kind of optimal right now. I don't want to change up what I have. It's just gonna be good enough. I guess I could be using quick saves. What did the husband do when the wife told him he had no sense of direction? What, what did he do? Alright, we are receiving a distress signal, the resistance cell located in an urban area. Uh, the local TV channels broadcast reports that government forces have located an international terrorist group that the police, supported by special forces, are about to storm that area. There's no doubt that the MIB are involved. This cell was used for covert communications with XCOM, so cryptographic data stored on a floppy disk must be secured. We also should not harm the local police officers, as there are only pawns in this game. To evacuate, uh, load them into the craft and click the abort mission icon. 
He packed his stuff in right. <laughs> wow. <laughs> well done. So we have to avoid police in this mission, huh? Ah, oh, this ought to be interesting. <laughs> yeah, you're welcome. Pizza? Oh, <laughs> no. Ooh, explosive charge, riot pistol, riot rifle, liquid flame. Avoid of stun. Um, we could stun. Uh, we just don't want to kill any of the police if possible. <laughs> yeah. That works, I think. I really do want to try to avoid killing police, as that's obviously what we want to try. Uh, this is Resistance Haven Attack with MIB and police. Yeah, we do have uh, one, two, three, four agents over here. And we have to get the uh, disc, which this guy is carrying. Better hurry up. <laughs> I'm working on it. We spotted someone over here. Wow, good spot.
Ooh, that initial stun damage, though. Wow. Uh, that guy is a men in black. Hassan, how's it going? Get down here too? No. Hang out right there. No, plus, uh, you don't have a shot anyway. He's behind this fence. This is, uh, From the Ashes. It's a mod that, uh, or kind of game engine that Finnick made. All right, we're going to step down and kind of peek over here real quick. We had a couple people close. Wow, he really ran. I think we have someone right here, too. I don't have the power to just shoot through the walls here. Unfortunately, Pi is just going to have to hang out and cover some more. Oh, hello. Alright, so just a human. Which means that is a police officer. Try to hit him twice with the shield. But if, if, if we don't take down this police officer, he's going to take down us. And he's going to be out to kill. So we're going to have to try to do something. Nice. I hope the smoke spreads a little bit more. I'm not exactly... comfortable with this radius right here. And this guy might actually probably has thermals. So you might be able to see into this a little ways. Uh, but thankfully this guy is closer so he'll probably be a like a last target. Pi with his 296% aim shot. Some, uh, some good damage there. Need to capture MIBs? We can try. I'm not sure how soon. And take his gun. Police officer right over here. Not twenty nine percent punch.
All right, well, first things first. He needs to get up here and just chill. That means mission accomplished. I didn't realize all these agents were hurt. A loot goblin. Stun arrows? Nice. Forty-three percent punch. That's decent. Oh, not enough energy. Crap. Shotgun's gonna hurt even with a shield. But we got him. Okay. Alright, I think that's good for now. I think. We're just going to evacuate for now. We can eventually try to get Men in Black. Just not necessarily on a mission like this. Oh. You tried, sir. Whoa, where are you shooting from? How are you seeing us? I know, I, I'm so tempted to just take a wild shot, but I don't think that's a good idea. Ah, okay, cool. I mean, I understand having, like, thermals and stuff that would help, but I guess it just depends on how good it is. It's everyone but this guy. Mission 
Mission accomplished. Okay. Gotcha. So we did lose one person, but I mean, that's a pretty good score. Got the objective. We recovered some stuff. Uh, a few people gained some stats. Not bad. We gained three new people, which is huge. Got some cash. A few items. Or short smoke grenades. Uh, actually, yeah, we do need to make some. And yeah, they don't sell them. I didn't. I didn't think so. Cool. Got some promotions. Pi is a colonel. We've managed to rescue our agents. Great job. It feels like we were stronger. Uh, stop. Uh, so it was. So let's become even stronger and unite for the sake of a single goal. Only together we are strong. And our reputation score went up 100. Very nice. Friendly. I think we were always friendly. Alright, let's save real quick. That was uh, a rather successful mission. Oh, I see what you're saying, Finnick. Okay. But if you move, do they still know where you're at? A very small UFO. Uh, we might be able to shoot that guy down. We'll put Pi in there real quick. Won't be able to dodge, <laughs> uh, but we'll be pretty accurate. From the ashes, so Therese, how's it going? Come on, Pi. Yes, Pi! Three for three. <laughs> Mackenzie finished his assault specialization. Lots of eligible soldiers now. Oh crap, did you get stats? I don't know. And I... I think it's too late. Uh, Finnick, let's get you started with sniper spe specialization.
Wow, you don't get accuracy for the heavy weapons, dang. Terra Invicta? I have seen it, yes. Uh, oh man, I, I can't remember what it looks like though. It's It's been a, a little while. Uh, so let's take a real short break, guys. It's been just over an hour. Um, it shouldn't be long. I'll just stretch real quick, and I'll be right back. <laughs> 